guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Brandon Card. Let's take a look at my 2021 Vexus VX21 with the Suzuki 250SS. Everything I'm going to talk about in this video is available at Rock Outdoors in Lexington, North Carolina. They're my Suzuki and Vexus dealer, and all the marine electronics on this boat um, is available at Rock Outdoors. They have a huge selection. Um, so let's let's go ahead and kind of dive into this boat. As I said, it's a VX21. It's 21 foot, 11 inches. Just a, just a really big boat. But for you know fishing in big water, you know I love the comfort and the and the, the space that this boat offers. As you can see, we just got back from the Sabine River. We got some battle wounds here. Tore up some decals. Um, Sam blasted the uh, lower unit here. Man, the Sabine River, I don't know if y'all know anything about it or not, but it's a really dangerous, windy river in Texas. And uh, we literally just got back from the lead event down there and I was running like an hour and a half and really just put this motor and boat to the test and just uh, super you know, thankful with how everything held up. This Suzuki lower unit is just rock solid. Um, you know, I really don't want to mention how many uh, logs and uh, sandbars I hit, but uh, it definitely stood the test. So, uh, like I said, this is the Suzuki 250SS. It's a four stroke motor, uh, super fuel efficient. You know, last week I was making extremely long runs and, you know, never had to worry about fuel. Um, so, that's definitely really important. Um, as far as the uh, prop, I'm running a Sola Scorpion uh, 26 pitch prop. Uh, so our Suzuki lower units are geared a little bit different than some of the other outboard motors on the market. Uh, so we turn a little bit larger prop size. I actually put a 27 pitch uh, during the colder months as well. Uh, as you can see, the Suzuki is sitting on the uh, Boz Machine Action Series jack plate. Went with a 10 inch setback on, on this particular boat. Uh, but just love that uh, action series jack plate it's rock solid all metal construction and they also offer all kinds of uh, color schemes so i went with the blue to match you know the black and blue color scheme um, so also went with the blue power pole blades back here on the back i love how the uh, how the power poles are mounted directly to the vexus so you don't have to you know have any kind of brackets or anything like that uh, you know, a lot of the other boat brands you have to mount to the jack plate. This one mounts directly on the transom of the Vexus, so super rigid. Um, but yeah, just, you know, these power poles are great in shallow water. I use them all the time. You know, it's really good to be quiet in shallow water. So if you get a bite or if you see a fish swirl, drop those power poles down and just really, you know, pick the area apart. So let's slide up front here. To the console you know this is the first year uh that i actually am running all three brands i'm running lawrence hummingbird and garmin on this boat you know for the uh the past nine years on tour i was strictly a lawrence guy i love lawrence uh but definitely i love what these other brands have to offer as well so i'm not affiliated with uh, with any of these companies so i'm just going to kind of tell you the pros and cons about each one so I have a, a Lowrance HDS 12, then we have a Helix 12 over here on this side, and then right under that Helix 12 is a Helix 7. Um, so really the setup back here, I want you know my Lowrance for my Navionics mapping, my 2D sonar, I got a through hole transducer uh, tied into my Lowrance. Um, so that's really good whenever you're running. As long as you're under probably like 40 miles per hour, you're going to be able to, to see the depth that you're running in. And that's really important. Like I said, the Sabine River, super important to see the depth. A lot of times last week when I was running, I could see that the, the depth was starting to shallow up and I could go ahead and stop before, you know, I ran this boat up on a sandbar or something. So that through hole or ranch transducer is huge when you're running. Like I said, Navionics mapping, you know, definitely a must have uh, for fishing offshore and fish in shallow water, just being able to find where you need to fish. Uh, for the Hummingbird Helix 12, that's gonna be for my mega side imaging and uh, mega down imaging. And then the Helix 7 right below, that's just uh, another one uh, that I could use for mapping if I wanted to pull up the side imaging over here on my Lowrance. So just kind of gives me lots of different options at the console. 
Got my Suzuki digital gauge here, which shows me exactly my fuel usage and uh, you know everything like that you know the hours on the motor anything that i need to see uh, from the suzuki is up here on this gauge as we uh, slide up here to the front as you can see just a huge front deck you know that's probably you know one of the main reasons why i went with this uh, vx21 just super spacious i like fishing with a lot of rods on the front deck you know there's a lot of times i'll have you know seven or eight maybe even nine rods on each side and there's still plenty of space to walk around and uh, as you can see here the front of this boat is forked so you get a little bit of extra space on each side uh, so that's really important when you're fishing team events you know hopped in some team events with my brother last year and we had a had an awesome time fishing out of this vexus but my brother and i we could both fish side by side on the front deck of this boat and had plenty of space as far as the electronic setup, as you can see, I have three graphs up here as well. Um, so I have a Humminbird Helix 12, and then I have a, a Lowrance HDS 12 over here on the left. And then up front, I have the Garmin uh, 12 inch. Um, so basically the reason for all this is the Humminbird 360, in my opinion, is a complete game changer fishing in shallow water, you know, when you're fishing for large mouths. Um, you know up shallow I really think that that 360 is probably the most beneficial thing up here on the front because you can see exactly what you're casting at the structure you know rock piles stumps uh, for instance the second event of the year here on Fort Loudon Lake uh, you know we were fishing the elite event and day one I was you know fishing down a, a stretch of uh, you know a bank that I was that I had found in practice and there was a stump that showed up on this 360 that i didn't even know was there so i picked up my jig i think i was throwing a jerk bait at the time put the jerk bait down picked up the jig fired it over there hit that stump popped it over and as it was falling on the back side of that stump caught like a five and a half pounder it was big bass of the day so right then and there i knew that this 360 paid for itself um, so slide on over here to the um, Lowrance HDS 12. You know, that's for my uh, mapping, like I said earlier, my Navionics mapping, uh, also 2D sonar, and uh, the point one that the Lowrance has, which is just an external GPS puck with a heading sensor. You know, that really helps me line up on waypoints. And then, you know, as I'm lining up, I can also see, it, you know, see what I'm casting at over here on the 360. And then up here is the Garmin which you know that is for the live scope which is uh definitely going to be a game changer later on in the year you know we fish a lot of shallow water events so far this year on the elite series uh, so these next couple of events coming up we have some offshore events we're getting ready to head down to lake fork there's probably going to be some offshore fishing there we're going to be fishing uh, gunnersville offshore and then we're going to head up north and we're going to fish for smallmouth so that live scope is really going to come into play uh, up there for you know catching fish offshore and just kind of seeing the movement of the fish you know i think that's probably one of the most important things when you're fishing offshore is seeing what the fish are doing if they're aggressive if they're moving around a lot if they're just sitting still um, so that's the benefits of the live scope uh, as far as the uh, trolling motor went with the lawrence ghost trolling motor this year this is my first year uh, running this trolling motor uh, it's super quiet. I've been really impressed with it so far. Um, it really, there's there's not a whole lot you can say other than it's a brushless uh, trolling motor. It's quiet, and I haven't had any issues out of it so far. So that's the that's pretty much what you want when you have a trolling motor is uh, you don't want any issues and you want it to be quiet. Uh, right under it here, um, I have a wedge that uh, Ashmore Marine Products sent me. Um, so that kind of helps level out my trolling motor. So when the trolling motor is deployed, um, you know, it's going to be straight, you know, vertical. You, you don't want that trolling motor to be, if, if I didn't throw this wedge on here, the trolling motor would probably be under the boat a little bit. Um, so Ashmore Marine, they have different size wedges for every boat out there. So just, that's just one extra thing to think about, especially with the 360 and the live scope when you're shooting forward you want that trolling motor to be dead level. Um, so other than that, let's uh, dive in to the inside of this boat. We'll take a look at kind of how I have my tackle and, and the space, and then we'll talk about some of the comfort features of this boat. 
All right, guys, we just hopped in the boat here. Let's take a look at this back compartment. You know, a lot of guys ask me how many batteries I have on this boat to run all the electronics that I have. And really, all I have is just three batteries. You know, a lot of guys think I have five, six batteries, but I just have three. I have three lithium batteries from Lithium Pros. So over here on this side, I have two 12 volt Lithium Pro batteries. They're ran parallel with each other. And that does everything that I need to do as far as starting my motor, running my live wells, running all my electronics. And they stay, you know, they stay good to go all day long. Over here on this side, I have one 36 volt trolling motor battery. And so that's obviously that's from Lithium Pros as well. Just an oversized lithium battery, um, you know, gives me tons of power all day long uh, to run my trolling motor. And then right here in the middle, we have the power pole charge, just a, a great charger. Uh, not only does it charge these lithium batteries really fast, but it also balances the batteries throughout the day. So let's just say, you know, maybe I'm fishing in one spot for a while, running these live wells, and you know, not cranking my motor very much at all. If these batteries get a little bit low, it'll actually balance the batteries. It'll actually take power from my trolling motor battery and it'll send it over uh, to one of these 12 volt batteries if it needs to. So it keeps the batteries balanced throughout the day, which is, which is really important. And then also uh, got that slam latch protection back here uh, to keep guys like me from damaging the fiberglass. Um, so that's just another feature. There's just a little metal plate here that prevents the latches from doing any damage. Uh, over here on this side, uh, I like to keep a lot of just heavy tackle over here. So we got jigs, uh, some of my oversized crankbaits, spoons, stuff like that that weighs a lot on this side. And then just uh, right here in the middle, you know, we have this uh, nice live well with the plexiglass lids over top. Uh, so not only does that help you whenever you're culling fish, you can see which ones you want to cull, but also, you know, for a run back into weigh-in, um, there's, a, there's a dial right here by the uh, uh, driver's seat, and you can turn it from normal to full mode. And so what full mode does is it'll actually bring the uh, water of the live well right under to the bottom side of this plexiglass lid, and it takes all the air out of the live wells. So what happens when you have air, that water sloshes around and really just kind of that water sloshing around bangs up the fish. And so whenever you take the air out of the live wells, that water's not gonna slosh and it's gonna keep your catch a lot better on a long run coming back in. And then over here on this side, I uh, just have some uh, miscellaneous items. I have a spare prop, got a spare trolling motor prop, some tools and uh, stuff like that over here. Uh, right here in the middle, uh, we have this oversized uh, cooler. It's an insulated cooler. It's gonna keep ice for a long time. O obviously, you can see how many drinks I have in here. Um, nice, spacious. I like, I like it being right here in the middle um, so the driver and the passenger can both access it uh, really easily. And then over here, we, we kind of have this uh, dry area where you can put, you know, you can put your cell phone and some, uh, you know, different things you want to keep dry over there. And then I uh, just wanted to show you uh, these airwave seats. Probably one of the coolest features in this boat is these airwave seats. And as you can see, it takes the shock out of, out of you know, hitting waves. So whether you're hitting boat waves, you know, if the wind's blowing, it's going to really just cushion the ride. So that's something that, uh, that I didn't really you know, think about a whole lot when I bought this boat, but it's definitely probably one of my favorite features now. I have way less back pain and neck pain than I had previously. So these airwave seats are awesome. And then just right here, I want to show you guys the Bass Boat Technologies mount. You know, this is, uh, this is the mount that I'm using for all three of the grass back here. Just, you know, rock solid. It's gonna, gonna keep these uh, grass from moving around and um, you know definitely just kind of a clean look back here at the console all right we're up here on the front of the boat just want to hit on a few features that i really like up here you know i definitely like this eva foam you're going to be sitting in this area working on tackle you know retying and you know having a dry place to sit is very important you know so this eva foam it dries out way quicker than the carpet does uh, so definitely like that uh, right under my feet here is this uh this oversized drawer, you know, I keep my culling equipment in there, some tools, other miscellaneous items in there. Uh, right behind my feet is the, uh, you know, my pliers, scissors, nice and out of the way. 
Over here on this side, this is my rod locker. Uh, just a nice oversized rod locker. Plenty of room for all of my eye rods, my Abu Garcia reels. Uh, definitely can keep way too many rods over there than you could use in a day. Uh, right here in this middle compartment, you know, this is kind of where I keep most of the tackle that I'm going to use for that particular tournament. You know, th these are going to be the items that I need to access quickly. Uh, so I like having them just kind of laid up in here, nice and organized. I can open one lid and pretty much get what I need to get for that day. Uh, over here in this uh, smaller compartment, I got some, some more soft plastics, got some more Yamamoto uh, products and stuff like that that I may or may not use, just need to keep it anyways. Uh, nothing worse than being out there on the water and not having exactly what you need. And then uh, up here in this compartment, um, I keep my Yozuri T7 fluorocarbon. You know, that's for all my leaders that I tie on throughout the day. I got my Blackfish rain gear up here and uh, just some other miscellaneous items like some, some swim baits and stuff like that. And then uh, one last thing up here on the front deck of the boat is this Bass Boat Technologies mount. Uh, just a super strong mount for all three of these 12 inch graphs. Uh, definitely like how it's all kind of compact up here in the middle of the boat. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this walkthrough of my Vexus VX21 powered by Suzuki 250SS. You can find everything that I mentioned in this video at Rock Outdoors in Lexington, North Carolina, or go online at rockoutdoors.com, and we'll see you guys on the water.